What's up, Houdat Nation? Harrison Graham here from Chat Sports, bringing you another video here on Saints Now. And on today's show, we're going to take a look at this Week 4 matchup as the Saints and Vikings are set to play across the pond in London. A little morning football here on this Sunday. So, hey, if you got any players in this matchup in fantasy, don't forget to put them in your lineup if you're going to play them. Lots to cover. New injury updates as well around the quarterback, so stay tuned. We'll also bring in producer Trace in at times during this episode as well. But we want to ask you guys first, open the floor up to Houdat Nation. Who you got? This is a big game. Don't want to fall to one and three. Type N-O for New Orleans. Type M-I-N for the Minnesota Vikings. Kind of a swing game because Minnesota's two and one. If they win to go up to three and one, Saints fall to one and three. You lose that tiebreaker in a potential wild card uh, race uh, down the stretch. Got to win this game if you're New Orleans. Type N-O for the Saints or M-I-N for the Vikings. And plus, if you want to bet on this game, our sportsbook partner, BetUS, chatsports.com slash bet promo chat 125 but Vikings are three point favorites the over under is 43 and a half I'll tell you a little more about bet us later but let's take a look at these two teams journeys so far the Vikings like I mentioned two and one nice win over the Packers in week one ugly win uh, to the e or ugly loss in week two against the Eagles and then uh, a little bounce back win last week fourth quarter rally to take down NFC North rival Detroit 28 to 24 for the Saints Listen, I mean, it could be worse. It could be 0-3, right? Like week one, that the Falcons had New Orleans on the ropes, let's be honest. They rallied to win that one. And then a couple of disappointing games over the past couple of weeks uh, for New Orleans. But, uh, hey, there's always the next game, right? Got a chance to bounce back and get to an even 2-2. Two and two. And we all know, at least the diehards know, this is a matchup with a lot of history, especially in recent years between New Orleans and Minnesota. And I'll bring producer Trace in here as the lifelong Saints fan here at Chat Sports. And Trace, there's been some interesting moments between these two teams over yep, the last several years. Absolutely. I mean, my personal favorite has to be this one, going, Saints going to the Super Bowl. Obviously, the Vikings fans don't like it because there's the whole Bounty Gate thing going on that year. So, you know, Brett Favre sucks and we went to the Super Bowl and ended up beating Peyton Manning. <laughs> Suck Get over Brett. it. Yeah, suck it, Favre. Get over it. <laughs> anyway, this one stings, though. I hate this one because uh, this one always pops up anytime that there's – Case Keenum, Stephon yeah, Diggs. There's anytime there's playoff anything, there's Minnesota anything, Saints versus Vikings, every time I see this, I can still remember where I was in this moment, and it was just brutal. But another good one? Six touchdowns from Kamara on Christmas 2020. That was a lot of fun. I uh, I remember I got my uh, Saints color rush jersey. I got a Drew Brees color rush jersey for Christmas that year. It was awesome. First time wearing it. Was I felt like it was pretty good luck after that. I like the, the 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 all white color rush. By oh, the way, absolutely. For the Saints. They absolutely. should rock those more. Look at this. Look at Kamara here. He's Six. got the. Got the grill going. Let's go. I mean, absolutely. Looking like a G. By the way, just real quickly, mm -hmm. Alvin Kamara, court date pushed back again. We didn't want to pass that along. So no real update other than it's been pushed back. Look for that to be resolved the next offseason. Absolutely. And then there's this one. The Kyle Rudolph push-off that they refused to acknowledge was a push-off. As we know, Kyle Rudolph posted this picture when he signed with the Bucks, re like changed it from Vikings jersey to the Bucks uniforms, which is just – so disrespectful. I mean, I can't, I can't stand this guy. I can't stand this play. It was just some absolute nonsense. That, that one made. to me hurts almost as much as the um, the Rams playoff oh, loss no because call, yeah. this team at that year when Kirk Cousins came to the Dome and upset the Saints, that was the year, man. That was, it, man. That was the year, was... and then they just did not play well. But a lot of history between these two over the last – you know, really decade and a half or so. We'll see if the Saints can get the better of them as we add another chapter in this London matchup. I think this will be a close game. This is big in the wild card race. So, again, if you're New Orleans, got to play well, got to not turn the football over offensively, uh, which – Leads us into our the next part of our conversation. Injury updates from today. Jameis Winston did not practice, which was a surprise. The expectation was that he would be out there today. Michael Thomas also uh, did not practice as well. So potentially your QB wide receiver one combo could be out this week. Andy Dalton, nice backup to have. He took the first team reps. Taysom Hill's been getting some reps as well. I think uh, regardless, there will probably be a Taysom Hill package this week at quarterback, so keep that in mind. Also, some good news on the injury front. Jarvis Landry, Andres Pete have returned to practice, so they were back out there. Uh, so that is certainly a good thing for New Orleans. But we'll see what happens at quarterback. That's obviously the big focus right now, uh, something we've certainly talked about a lot here in the office. Now, the Saints match up pretty well, I think, 
against Minnesota this week, especially considering Dalvin Cook uh, isn't going to play, it doesn't look like. So uh, if you can limit the running game and uh, force Kirk Cousins to make some plays, I like the Saints secondary, so we'll see if they can stack up. Trace, get the shout-outs going. Eat the W like Jameis Winston. There Let's go. go. We're, we're going to – eating some dubs and biscuits here over the pond. It's going to be a fun time. But I want to give some quick shout-outs to Savage. I always see you in the comments, man. I love that you're always interacting with us. King AD, what's good, my guy? Alan Eugene, Vincent Mizell, Joshua Rose. And if you guys want to get a shout-out on the next video, go down and comment F men. We hate the Vikings. The Vikings suck. They're a kind of a rival. They're kind of not. I hate the Vikings. Go down and comment F men as many times as you want. Whoever comments the most is going to get a shout out on the next video. So let's hear it, guys. Let Look, me hear you guys. Listen, no one likes Kirk Cousins. No, okay? Kirk Cousins is a fraud. So type F men in the comments. To me, if you're Kirk Cousins sucks in prime time, well, reverse psychology, you're playing in prime time because it's the only game at the time, exactly. even though it's early on. Exactly. So prime time Kirk's about to come out, which means the Saints are about to tee off on him. So type F men in the comments. Let's get it. Let's go. And, hey, if you want to go bet on this matchup, bet US the place to do it, chatsports.com slash bet. Promo code chat125 to get 125% deposit bonus. Throw down 100 bucks when you sign up. You get 125 for free. It's a fantastic deal. Betting odds like we showed you earlier for this matchup, over under 43 and a half. Vikings three-point favorites, hammer the Saints, primetime Kirk. He doesn't know what's coming for him. Chatsports.com slash bet. Uh, and then uh, promo code is chat125. All right, let's talk about a few keys to victory here. Speak it up, Kirk Cousins. Get after him. Put some pressure on him. Uh, he plays pretty poorly like we've talked about in big-time games. And sure, it's not under the lights, but this is the only game on at that time. So to me, it's kind of a primetime game because all eyes will be on this matchup until the 1 o'clock Eastern games kick off. Uh, Kirk Cousins, when he gets under pressure, it tends to fold at times. So if you're the Saints, dial up some blitzes, get after him. You look at the Saints' defensive rankings right now, it's kind of a mixed bag. I'd say overall kind of middle of the pack, but the pass defense uh, uh, has been pretty solid. Uh, you know, the rushing defense needs to play better, but if you're not facing Dalvin Cook, that certainly helps. You look at the Vikings offense. Um, Middle of the road overall, 344 per game, uh, passing 15th in the NFL, rushing 19th, and then points per game uh, just 16th right now is Minnesota. But Kirk Cousins, we know how he is. It's a, it's a roller coaster with him. You're hoping you catch him on a down because if you do, you're going to have a chance to pick some balls off. He's already thrown three picks in three games, so he's going to give you opportunities uh, to make some plays on the football. Uh, so hopefully the Saints can do that, and hopefully they can slow down Justin Jefferson, who had the huge week one, and then teams started double-teaming him. I think that'll definitely be uh, a philosophy that Dennis Allen employs some this week to hover a safety over the top because force someone else to beat you. Al Adam Thielen doesn't look like what he used to be uh, as that true number two receiver. K.J. Osborne's up and coming, but you can't let Jefferson go for 150. That's really uh, what will open things up. Now, we also want to keep an eye on Dalvin Cook. Will he play? Trace, I'm going to bring you back in here. What's the latest you're hearing uh, on Dalvin Cook? Because obviously his status is a huge factor in this game. Yeah, so the latest I'm hearing is that right now he wants to play. He was held out in practice yesterday with the Vikings, and they actually hadn't traveled over overseas yet uh, as of Monday. I was talking to Patrick Seatman, our Vikings guy over here. Um, he was telling me that Dalvin Cook, he really wants to play, but if – they want if the Vikings have like these playoff implications, these playoff plans similar to the Saints, where they may not win the division, but they are a definite wild card contender. Yeah, their Dalvin Cook is a part of that long term plan. So, from what I'm hearing, it's going to be kind of he's day to day, he's kind of be a game time you know, decision. yeah, it's going to be a game time decision. If you ask me, I think that they end up letting him play and then kind of keep the keep those touches, you know, to a minimum. Down. Yeah, they've got Alexander Madison who's been productive as a backup in the past. So we'll keep an eye on Dalvin Cook here. Obviously, if he's out, that's that's a nice little boost for the Saints. Uh, we don't cheer for injuries here, but uh, if he's not available, uh, it is what it is. All right, where are you repping from? Where are you guys uh, watching today's video? Where are you guys hanging out when you watch Saints fans? We want to know. We know who that nation's all over the place. It's not just in the boot down in Louisiana. So let us know where you guys are repping the Saints from. All right, another key to victory here. Play smart, start fast, don't take your foot off the gas. That's been a problem here. The Saints have not gotten off to good starts. 
Got to get off to a good start here. You got to get an early lead. And then, like I said earlier, tee off on Kirk Cousins because when he starts pressing, that's when he starts making mistakes. So I think getting out in front will be very, very important. A few more keys to victory that Trace threw together here. Get physical with Justin Jefferson. Frustrate him a little bit. He was frustrated last week facing some double teams. So I would do some more of that if I was New Orleans. Spread the ball around, especially if Michael Thomas is out. Get other guys involved. Uh, Chris Olave, who was just named in. NFC Rookie of the Month, continue to get him the football as well. Alvin Kamara, he hasn't really had that breakout game yet this year. Uh, I have him in fantasy, I would know. It's been a little, a little quiet so far. Hopefully he gets back after it this week. Uh, finish drives, red zone scoring, get into the end zone, no field goals, no turnovers. Uh, whether it's Andy Dalton or Jameis Winston, be smart with the football. Special teams, got to capitalize there. Taysom Hill, I mentioned it earlier. I think there will be a package for him regardless if Jameis plays or not. I think getting him some touches in uh, – you know, those uh, QB power situations or as a tight end will be uh, good to see. Chris Olave, we mentioned it. Keep getting him the ball. And then just start fast, finish strong, 60 minutes. Let's go. The Saints have been very topsy-turvy so far this year. Haven't played a complete game yet. Let's see if they can do it here on Sunday. All right, predict the, st uh, the score of this one. Saints, Vikings, Sunday. Uh, you're going to be, uh, we're going to be eat, drinking mimosas and uh, what is it? Fish and chips. Let's go. Let's make it happen. Get those score predictions in. Trace, you got a score for me real quick? Yeah, I'm going to go Saints 27, Vikings 20. Let's go, baby. He just heard it. Saints man himself. 27-20. We'll see you guys soon here on Saints Now.